Hi, I'm Bruce, and just over a year ago we began our homesteading journey. This week we are blessed with beautiful winter weather and get the roof watertight. The kids take the horses out for a ride. Good girl. Right, enjoy yourselves. And me and Rory head out to Ennis Trad Festival. Overall, a pretty awesome week. If you're new here, why not click the subscribe button and become part of our ever-growing community. Good morning everybody. If you can see behind me there, you'll see Francis, the stretch limo, is here, which can mean only one thing. I have the famous Rory Mac back over and his dad. And he very kindly went off to Mallow to go and get um, some reclaimed roll top ridge tiles so that we can finally button up and finish this roof. So I'm over the moon with that. It's a lovely day, there's no rain, so let's get cracking. Let's check them out then, where are they? Oh, look at them, perfect. Yeah, they're perfect. All good? Yeah, that's better. Right, just pointed up the ends uh, on the hips. Rory had to go. Uh, well, he's off to Ennis Trad Festival, and so are we. So we've gone as far as we're going to go today, and hopefully finish this off tomorrow, unless it's raining, which it possibly is. If not, then the day after. Enjoying being at the lead. Yeah? Oh, she's a good one. What a beautiful morning today. So, me and Rory went into Ennis for the Trad Festival yesterday. And the weather gods are good to us this morning. So, 
we're going to finish off doing the rest of the ridge tiles. We'll have a fully watertight roof. It's starting to look really nice. Anyway, have a cup of coffee and then it's cool. Well that's it, Rory's gone home. The roof is actually watertight now. Hooray! I've just got a bit of uh, cement left in the wheelbarrow so I'm just going to take that around the back and bed in uh, the wall plate I guess, is that the word? For my, uh... oh hello, I didn't even realise you guys were here. For um, uh, my lean-to that I'm going to do on the back which is going to be to store the tractor and machinery and timber and materials all that kind of thing. So. I'm not going to take it with me there because it's about to lash it down with rain and I've got to get it done. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, it's another lovely day today and uh, Lisa, who is guiding us through learning all about horses, is here with the children. They're just mucking out at the moment and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to let you know what the arrangement is because I didn't really cover that other than kind of showing all of the chaos of us settling into having horses on the land. So basically Lisa is a fully qualified a horse riding instructor. Instructor. She's got years and years of experience and segueing from that she then also went into natural horsemanship with which she's an expert in so that's basically what the children are learning. They're learning how to look after horses, how to ride them, but the whole kind of spectrum so they're kind of getting like a, a little apprenticeship and I know um, some people are concerned about the yard and, and all these sorts of things but um, this has all been in line with the people that we're borrowing the horses from. Um, normally at this time of year they would be kept in quite small and let out on the clearer days which is basically what we're going to do. Um, they're in the yard for now uh, but actually we've had a couple of days of dry weather so we'll probably be able to put them out into the field for a little bit and uh, I think they are actually planning today on taking them for a little walk up the track so it's all very exciting and uh, I do appreciate everybody's advice and I'd like to think that you all know me well enough now to know that I wouldn't do anything reckless or irresponsible with animals. So yeah, now that's cleared up, let's go and see what they're getting on with. So yeah, anyway, they're getting the whole thing, the whole shebang, clearing up the poo at the moment. So they're getting to do the less glamorous jobs before having the fun part of owning a horse and I get to have all that lovely manure for the garden. But whilst they're taking them out uh, for a little walk down the track, um, I'm going to use that as an opportunity to fit some of my uh, Perspex panelling into my workshop as it's a very noisy job and I don't want to frighten the horses. So yeah, better go on with that before I run out of time. For my helmet, I'd say 
big one to the right of that trailer. Come on. Good girl. You're not going to see much trotting around the train because it's our first time out and they're, they're new to this place. Let's just go for a little stroll. Keep up nice and relaxed. Nice and Welcome. relaxed and look into where you're going. All right, enjoy yourselves. And I'll see you when you get back. Do you know we're actually extremely lucky to have Lisa and this arrangement because Betsy for years has wanted to be into horses. Annie was years ago when she was a kid. I have no experience with horses. Getting some as we're going. And uh, you know, well, anybody out there that's got horses knows the cost of lessons and stables and all that kind of thing. And obviously we're very lucky to have space here. But we're also now very lucky to have Lisa and her skills and expertise and loan of two lovely quiet ponies. And uh, yeah, they're getting like a full on from the ground up apprenticeship in how to do this kind of thing. And uh, I just think, God, how lucky is that? Have that on your doorstep. Look at this beautiful day. Being somewhat ruined by pig noises. What's going down, Twig? Oh my god, today is beautiful. Does any of you just absolutely love it when it starts to get a bit crisp and cold in the air? I'm not sure if we had a ground frost this morning, but it was pretty cold. Three or four degrees. Anyway, morning duties. Feed the animals. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a surf later today. My hands are cold. <laughs> Come on, you. <laughs> That's well funny. This is the pig's temporary paddock at the moment, just whilst the uh, horses are getting acclimatised to hearing them. They actually seem to be chilling out a bit already, which is good. Pigs are so funny. It's amazing how fast they can actually run. You ready? Good girls. Oh, that's posty, I think, is it? Good morning guys, so today's job is to sort out the stove inside the house. Although we're living in the yurt, uh, we do kind of cook in here and all that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I noticed that the pipe on the back of the stove has kind of come loose. So I need to take that out, uh, replace the fire rope inside there and get it all put back safely. And also the damper pin has broken, so yeah, I had to wait till it was freezing cold to do this job for some reason. Anyway, shouldn't take me too long. Yeah, they're seized on that. So the bolts are seized in there. That's classic for hot, cold, hot, cold situations.
All right, there we go. The fire is working better than actually the day we moved in. So there we go. All's well that ends well. Right, this is the back of my shed. And as you can see, it is a complete mess. But we need to chop all of this into kindling because at the moment I'm chopping as we go and it's very annoying when it's the middle of the night and we need a nice warm fire. Isn't it, girls? Mm -hmm. Ready to help? Yeah. Come on in. Right, we've got as far as we're going to get now. Um, I've got to take Elsie off to a drama class and sit in my van and do this week's edit. Uh, don't forget if you've enjoyed this video to give it a thumbs up, maybe leave me a comment below and if you haven't already it would be pretty great if you could subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week when possibly I'm thinking I might start building my movable chicken coop. But I don't know, you know what I'm like, it could completely change by next week. See you later!